Morning, sunshine. You might not have dodged a bullet, but you dodged Wednesday. Wednesday is when they pick up the food garbage. Your ass would have been composted. Your wound's not completely healed, but the fact that you're standing means you'll be just fine. Time to go on home. Go home. Somebody's probably worried about you. Don't you have a family, wife, kids? Uh. By the way, you'll have to take the stitches out by yourself when it's healed. Hey, listen. Hey, did that guy ever die? He died, right? Nah, he's alive. Hey, oh man, I lost the bet. I'll have to pay you later. I don't got no money right now. Big surprise. Those are some damn tight stitches you did with that fishing line. You really were a nurse, huh? Well, if he hadn't been a fighter, no amount of stitches would have saved him. Man, couldn't he have thrown that fight? Hey, you know how much money I lost on you? Next time, just kick the bucket. What was that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, being that it's your fault and all, I'm just wondering if you could cover my bet for me. I'll give it a rest. Check it out, I got some big ones at the dock today. You want one, you sore loser? Ooh! You're really willing to share these buttes? I'm not sure, but I'm open to a fair trade. I need gas. Find me a big can of that, and I'll give you a fish. Aw, oh, seriously? I knew there'd be a catch. I'll find you some gas. So you better save me a big one. <laughs> Yeah, big one. Hey, man. Huh? What do you want? I've got so many questions. Where do I even start? Uh, first of all, where the hell are we? This is Ijin Cho. Ijin Cho? Ijin Cho. Isazaki Ijin Cho. In Yokohama. Don't you know Yokohama? I in Yokohama? Hell if I know. It's been three days since I found you. I got woken up by a commotion in the middle of the night. And I saw them carry you in, covered in blood. They said they found you in the trash. I thought you were dead at first. But lucky for you, it turned out you only had one foot in the grave. And you've been what? Nursing me back to health? As best I can. But as you can see, I can't do any real treatment here. There are only two reasons you survived. You're tough as nails, and you're lucky as hell. The bullet missed your heart, your arteries, and it went clean out the back. One hair to the left, and you would have been a goner. Damn. Well, thank you, man. It sounds like you saved my life. You're making it sound more noble than it is. What? I only helped because if you died here, it would have meant trouble. What trouble? Where there's a dead body, there's cops. And where there are cops, there are questions. So what? Well, then the media comes charging in. Cameras and microphones all up in our faces. I guess so. So don't you see? Or are you as dumb as you look? 
We're not exactly supposed to be living here. I don't like using the term, but we're squatters, basically. Whoa. Plus, everyone's got their reasons for being here. They came here to escape something. You attract media coverage, that blows their hiding place. You get it now? Yeah. I get it. Good. Now go home. Home? I'm sorry, Ichi. I don't exactly have one. Huh? Listen, I promise I won't make trouble for anyone here. So, do you think you could let me stay for a bit? No can do. Please, I'll make it worth your while. Help you out. Help me? <laughs> you think we help each other out like some big, happy family? We live by taking from others. We're leeches. It's a world where dozens of us crowd around a convenience store trying to claim half as many expired pentos. If you stay, someone else gets less to eat. Get out of here. Fine. <sighs> Guess I should have expected that. Your wound isn't healed all the way, and you haven't walked for three days. Guess you'll have to rest here for a bit. Thanks. <laughs> Under all that hard-ass talk. No, I'm not. I just don't want the shit that'll come down on us if someone dies here. Yeah, yeah. But still. <sighs> well, can't argue with you then. Where do we start with what? I'm not just gonna hang around here fussing over you. And since you're staying, you gotta do what I say. Okay, sure. What's your name? Ichiban. Ichiban Kaska. Huh. That's pretty paranoid of you using a fake name. And again, you got a shit feel for names, though. Fake ones gotta be more like... <sighs> That's my real name, man. Oh. Oh, really? <laughs> Don't wear it out. And you are? Nanba. N-A-N-B-A. <laughs> Let me guess. Fake name? What do you think? I think it's all the same to me. Good. Because it doesn't matter here anyway. You got any money on you? Uh... You're about to be disappointed, then. <sighs> well, in that case, you're gonna have to start earning. Why do I need money all of a sudden? Are you kidding me? Actually, I just remembered you'll have to get the Chief's permission to stay. The Chief? He's been here a long time. Sort of maintains the... Sorry if I gave you the impression it was all up to me. And your best chance of doing that is to show you can earn. Sounds more like a bribe if you... Have... Call it whatever you want. You need it. Chief doesn't accept freeloaders, so if you want his blessing, you have to work your butt off and prove you really want to be here. I get it, but you never said how I should make the money. I'll get you going. Luckily, we've got some data. All right, here we go. Here we go where? I said I'd teach you how to make money, didn't I? Watch closely. This is how we do it. This is what you do for money? Kinda lame. We can't afford to worry about looking lame, man. Having pride around here? It's a sure way to starve to death. Wait, I think I found... I fall. That fast? Oh yeah, it's my lucky day. <sighs> oh, man, got my hopes up just... All right, now it's your turn. Go check underneath the other vending machine. Trash cans, too. Sometimes people throw away stuff the way they say. I'm on it. Cool. I'm gonna head back to camp. Come find me when you're done. And don't wander far. There are a lot of dangerous dudes in this town. All right, then. Good luck, rookie.
to go. I tried, but this was all. Hey, Chief. This is the guy I was telling you about. And? My name's Ichiban. My situation's kind of... I'm sure it's fascinating. Right. So what do you say? Mind if I stay here while I'm... I'm not just a survivor. You earn that money yourself. Don't let anyone take it from you. Uh, if you're refusing to take it... Mm, I never wanted it. I just want you to realize it's not money we truly value here. Yes, I do. If a newcomer works hard and makes honest money... Thank you. I swear to you I will pay back this debt. Debt? Sounding awfully Yakuza there. That's what I was until recently. Actually... Hmm. What's your story? Hmm. Your patriarch shot someone who served 18 years in prison for him. That's... it must have felt horrible. Don't know if that's what I'd say. It's hard to... to... Here. Thanks. Try tearing off the tail and putting it in your drink. Huh? Uh, sure. Jinsho style fin sake. So, once you're healed, you're free to leave or stay. Your choice. Thanks. We'll see what happens. What are your plans tomorrow? You need to scrounge up some food for yourself. Oh, that's for sure. I'll show you how. Let's head out at 5.30 a.m. and get you stuff. Cans? You mean like recycling them? Pretty damn early to be doing that. Early bums get the crumbs. Okay, I get it. I get it. What's up? Uh. Yes. What? Wow. Been a while since I rode one of these. Well, this is no Evan. You can even pedal backwards to reverse. I find that pretty convenient. Okie doke, she's all yours. Go take a lap around and see what you can scrounge up. Find a lot of empty cans along the river. My advice? Stick to pedaling in a straight line and you can't go wrong. All right, I'll give it a shot. Ah, uh, here we go. Huh? The heck is that? Oh, ass 
pass on this thing. Hope I don't crash and eat shit, though. Oh, look, more cans. What's up with those guys? No way. They're after the cans, too? Guess I got me some competition. Good. Makes for a healthy challenge. Well, I did my lap and brought in a decent haul. I'll head back to Kansan. So, you get used to it yet? I think so. A lot of other guys were out there doing yeah, mine. So I love to consider so your I get more one one anyway. Mark. A new record? Yes, I can. Streets look cleaner already. Ah, well, Eco. Yeah, you can eat the squad. Well, keep on. Oh, oh got it. Anyway, this will do, Con. to go I work my ass off but my take is pathetic that's homeless life for you but I know you tried so I'll give you some food you sure <laughs> can't have you collapsing from hunk the bakery got rid of their extra bread today Red rolls, huh? Hey, I just said we can't be choosing. Whoa, I ain't complaining. I love bread rolls, actually. Yeah? Hell yeah. In prison, all we had was barley rice. Every single day. But once a week, they gave us bread rolls. That was the day I looked forward to. Really? It's just plain ass bread. That plain assery is what makes it good. Everything shit. The smell, the walls, and especially that nasty rice mush with the taste of plain bread. Well, here. 
Take a nice big bite of the outside world. Thanks, man. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. I gotta say, you're an interesting guy. Shit! The collectors are here! Earlier than usual. Time to pay your dues for the month, fellas. Wait by your beds with your cash out and ready. Who's this fool? Zhang, a money collector. He charges us homeless guys for the privilege of sleeping here. What? Why well, you gotta pay him? Is this his land or something? No. But it's been the rule since before I was here. You don't gotta pay a guy like that. Tell him to fuck off. Trust me, I want to punch the guy in the face every time I see him. He does? I've heard Zhang is a member of the Yokohama Liumang. What the hell's that? The Chinese Mafia that's been based in Ijincho for ages. You'll end up dead. <laughs> mafia my ass. I'll get this guy out of your hair. Pay you back for helping me. No, don't try anything. The Chief already has a deal worked out with them. We need to do what the Chief wants. But... Just stay quiet. Shit. Do you even have enough money to pay him? 2,000 yen? No, not even close. Damn it. And I only have enough to cover myself. Look, you better hide in there. And I'll think up an excuse. Whatever happens, don't move. <sighs> Fine. Hello, Nambachan. Is it ever good when you're homeless? No, no. You'll never make it back to proper society with that attitude. Besides, you got a sweet deal going on. Sleeping and drinking all day must be nice. You're right. Sorry. Number. Does this box belong to you? Yeah, I needed to pick up a few things. <laughs> what kind of things? Hey, let's have a look. Oh, hold on. Can't a guy have a little privacy? You live on the street. People like you don't get to have privacy. Hey, how's it going? Well, Namba-san, you tried to play nice, but you know what? Fuck these guys. Who the hell are you? The fine people here have been taking care of me since yesterday. I see. Does that mean you live in one of these fucking tents here? If so, we'll be taking your rent up front, cash only. Sucks for you, I'm broke. And if I weren't, I wouldn't even give you my pocket change. <laughs> wow, Namba. Not only did you bring in some cocky asshole, but then you tried to keep him as your little secret from us. I'm gonna make sure you pay for that one later. Hey, Namba-san saved my life! Get your hands off him! Ah, uh, look who thinks he's a tough guy. Every now and then we get a newcomer like you doesn't know his place. You guys bark loud, but you never got the bite to back it up. You go down whimpering like bitches every time. Butt up your goddamn fists. Let's see if you're any different from the rest of this trash. 
try to stop me, Namba-san. Stop you? Hmm. At this point, he's gonna kill us both and dump us in the river. But before that, I'm gonna stick this up his ass! Come <laughs> on, Namba! This dumbass give you big ideas? I'll break so many of your bones you won't be able to beg anymore! <laughs> All right. Let's do this! You're done! Bring it on! Cool! Check this out! Come on now! You're going down! Okay. Uh, what? You know I'm in the Yokohama Liomang? You know, I was doing some calculations back there. 2,000 yen from each bum gets you about 100k. My math's not great, but you talk pretty big for a guy collecting chump change. You wanna die, asshole? That's what you're asking for. I give you one chance to apologize. Sounds like the empty threat of a loser. Last chance. Apologize now if you want to live. Did you hear? I... You're gonna regret this. Your bark is worse than your bite. Tell me, why would I regret it? You gonna sick your big, tough Liu Mong boys on me? <laughs> Do they even have any of those? Fuck you! We're the strongest Chinese mafia in Yokohama. Trust me, your buddies are shitting themselves. They know what's coming. Okay, so I take it all the big boys you'll be sending in to put us in our place are better fighters than you? You fucking! No, seriously, when should we expect them? When are you gonna tell them you got beat up by hobos scrounging for pocket change? How are they gonna take that? Oh, our boy Zhang got his ass kicked. And then what? They're gonna rally the fucking troops for you? Your officers can't be that bored. You'll just end up the shame of the Liu Lame. Do you ever shut the fuck up? That's just how these things go. A gangster like you should know that. Officers don't just go out and save their minions from every little street fight. Shit. 
Namba, I'll deal with your pants ass later. After I take care of your new meat shield here. Shut up. This isn't even Liumang turf. Oh, seriously? <laughs> so you have even less leverage than I thought, Zheng Chan. Oh, yeah? I don't know a lot about Yokohama, but I'm sure the gangs here are real strict. If you're waltzing across the border to shake us down, isn't that a turf violation? <laughs> so not only did you get whipped by buns, you were trespassing. Honestly, man, I wouldn't even report this one if I were you. Unless you want to make your whole gang a joke. <laughs> 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 You're a fucking shithead. It's hard being the bottom rung of the ladder, isn't it? I can relate to that, actually. Difference is, I learned not to bully people who are weaker than me. Shut up! I'm letting you off easy today. Let's go! Hey, bring us something to eat next time, would you? That was way out of line. Now we don't have to be scared of that asshole anymore. <laughs> you pull something like that again, I'm tossing you out on the street. Our priority is to have somewhere to sleep tomorrow. Don't you dare put that at risk again. He's not really that mad at you. I should apologize. He's right. I was out of line. No. You did what was right. And hey, I got to vent some bottled up anger. I'm sure most of the guys here would agree with me. No, you don't have to thank me. I gotta say, you're a professional at pissing people off. Huh? Um, that's not exactly a skill I want to have. Maybe not. But then again, maybe being a pain in the ass is just part of your charm, you know? Huh. Well, I never thought about it. So hey, I guess the Chinese Mafia is some big deal in Yokohama. Not just the Chinese. The city is sliced up among the Ejin Three. The Ejin Three? The girl in the red shoes left with foreigners on a steamship from Yokohama Never to be seen again. So here we go. The Zheng guy was from the Chinese Mafia, known as the Yokohama Liumang. It's over here is the Korean Mafia. They go by the same name as the area they occupy, the Komijuo. And of course, there's the Japanese Yakuza. They're called the Seiryu Clan. But to the locals, they're all known as the Ejin Three. I'm guessing the Seiryu clan is under the umbrella of the Omi Alliance? You kidding? No, they've always been independent, and they're happy to let you know it. Are the Omi in Ijin Show? Yeah, the Tojo clan is practically Yokohama's next door neighbor. And if they've never set foot in here, you think the Omi Alliance would try? The Ijin Three offer the town protection from outside forces, in a way. That metaphorical barrier is known as the Great Wall of Muscle. Hell of a metaphor. So, the Ejin Three work together to keep people- Work together? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> They're always at each other's throats. Doesn't that mean a war could break out at any moment? Yeah. I guess you could call this a cold war. What's that? Did you skip that day in history class or something? Okay, Cold War is like a powder keg. Any oh, okay. I mean, would you want to stick your hand into a powder keg and risk setting it off? Hell no. Exactly. So I get it. There's so much tension there, but it's amazing that there's never been a war on the inside then, isn't there? <sighs> yeah, I try not to think about that. This city would turn into a goddamn crater if that... Maybe there's a reason it hasn't. A secret reason. 
You ever think of that possibility? Like, what if the Aging Three leaders are pretending there's a Cold War so they can sit back and relax? Not a chance. Each gang leader is desperate to be the strongest. Whatever the opposite of relaxing is, that's what they're doing. Which is just adding more powder to the keg. Scary, isn't it? But for the Yokohama underworld, that's just the way things are. Why are you telling me all this? So more or less, you've already been pretty damn lucky in my- Lucky? Me? Yeah, yeah. I know your traitor patriarch shot you and all. I was unlucky, sure. But then someone brought you here to Yokohama. The one place in all of Kanto where there's no Omi at the moment. A place where they can't even get in. I guess. I don't know how long I can just hang around in any I'll go on and leave. I won't stop you. Yeah, I think I will. See if I'm lucky out there, too. Ow! 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 What the hell was that for? You won't get far with that still healing. You'll be... I could have done without the demonstrate... What's that? Shit. Hide it, Ichiban. Why? Uh, did you see that? That was a 10,000 yen bill! Yeah, 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 yeah! Hey, hey! Uh, Calm uh, down. Hey, hey, look! I think I dropped a 10,000 yen bill around here just the other day! You're talking out your ass. It's Ichiban's money. What? Actually, I have no idea how I got this. Ha! Told you it was mine! Hey, <laughs> give it back. Uh, <laughs> oh, you Kichi Chan, my old friend. I thought I'd never see your face again. <laughs> Let me just clean you off a bit. Aren't you beautiful? Huh? What the hell? What's wrong? Oh, look at this. <sighs> the back of it is blank! But I think it's just stupid play money. Wait, hold on. Hmm. Well, that's definitely not play money. The front looks way too much like a real bill. I mean, look. It even has a watermark. For real? Well, they wouldn't put watermarks on play money, would they? So you're saying it's real, even though it's half blank? Hey, does that mean it's worth 5,000? Oh, dumbass. It means there's only one thing it could be. It's counterfeit. Oh, what? It's a fake? Hey, you trying to get us all arrested or something? No, that shit's not even mine. You said you just dropped it the other day. What's with that? Do I look like someone who would have that much? I would have spit it already, man. Come on. Obviously. Now cut it out, you two. But it's yours, right? Why did you have it? Why would you bring that shady shit here? We don't want any trouble. Come on, man. This guy's bad news for the whole camp. We can't let him stay here. I say we kick him out. I told you, I don't know where it came from. I don't even know where I'd get a fake bill. Liar! How did it end up in your pocket, then? Wait, wait. Let's think about this for a second. Ichiban's pocket where he had the bill has a huge bullet hole in it. So if the bill was in his pocket at the time he got shot, doesn't that mean it should have a hole in it, too? But look, it doesn't. And there's no way Ichiban could have put it in his pocket after he got shot. He was barely even conscious. That could only mean someone must have put it there after he fainted. Who would do that? And why? Don't look at me. I have no freaking idea. It was probably whoever brought him here. You got an idea who did that? Probably not, huh? Nope. It's as much a mystery to me as it is to you guys. I don't know why I got dumped here, and I don't know why I have this bill. Seriously, I don't know a goddamn thing. You've got to believe me. Who cares? Look, we're already on thin ice here, and none of us want to give the police an excuse to raid us. So let's just get rid of that thing, throw it away, and stop causing trouble! You two are the ones making a scene. How about I bring this to the chief? Eh, uh, Nanbasan. Don't do us like that. Look, I get it, okay? I'll make you a deal. 
You take it easy. I won't start any more trouble. We good? But I thought you had nowhere else to go. I don't. But anywhere would be better than here. What? I walked around all damn day, and what good did that do? I mean, there's gotta be tons of jobs out there which pay more than this. There's just gotta be. Yeah, probably. Well, if you think so too, but let's go find one of those. Oh, sure. Got any leads? Know anybody who can give us a reference? How about a resume? Oh, hey, I know. We could find something at Hello Work. Man. Listen up, everyone. Hey, what are you doing? Guys, guys, why are we living like this? Has anybody here ever gone to Hello Work? Eh? Sounds like a big fat no. But you're all perfectly healthy. I've seen some of you build shit. I've seen some of you cook. You have skills. So why are you trying to find jobs? Just gotta get up and do it. Come on. You really want to keep living like this just to avoid taking some risks? Don't you see you can change if you want to? Or do you all just want to die here? Well, I don't. I say we go and find some decent jobs. Anyone who whines about it, I don't mind dragging you- Shut the fuck up! Do you seriously think we're all here because we want to be? Nah, you said everyone has their reasons, and I get that, man. But come on, you still gotta try, don't you? Better than living like this. A little effort can land you a job, even if you have a criminal record. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Why not? First of all, only a few of us have criminal records. Most of us didn't do anything wrong. Then why? For some, all they did was co-sign a bad loan. Others worked hard for their families, who abandoned them when they couldn't pay the bills. Nobody lives like this by choice. This isn't somewhere you choose to be, it's somewhere you end up. Do you know what that's like? To end up that broken? Uh... And some of us have families who are out there looking for us. Parents and kids. And for as much as some of us would love to go back, not when we're still so broken. And you think you can fix all that with just a quick trip to hello work? They get back on the grid, then all the problems and enemies from their old lives are gonna pop right back up. Did you ever think of that? You think we're just too lazy to work? We all want a job and a little, but we can't just erase all the things that keep us from having them. So it might not look like much to you, but they're trying! I'm... You can't force people to be just like you. So knock it off. But I'll give you this. You're not totally wrong. What? You made a good point about having a criminal record. We do have one felon here lying low. Uh, who? Me. But you said you used to be a nurse. What did you do? <sighs> it doesn't matter. But maybe I found some motivation in that stupid little speech of yours. Enough to try, anyway. So, I'll come with you to hello work. I'll see what it's like to take at least the first step. Of it.